Hi, uh, in this video we'll be uh, seeing about IVMS 4200AC and uh, uh, SQL Server integration. So I have opened my software here. I'll click on time and attendance and I'll click on third party database under attend settings and we have to fill in all these details. So we have to make sure that in on our uh, SQL Server table all these columns are present so I have a script here already prepared I'll just uh, copy the script and run it on my SQL Server here I have installed SQL Server 2014 I'll click on new query and I have pasted the script but before running I'll just show you what all databases are present so currently we don't have the required database these are all just the system database so what this script does is it will create a database called IVMS 4200AC and it will create a table called ATTLOG and all these fields will be created so here we have this employee ID I'll just show it with the software so employee ID will be mapped over here and authentication date and time will be mapped over here date will be mapped over here time will be mapped over here direction device name and serial number everything will be mapped over here and there is one additional column called serial number which I have created so this won't be mapped to any of the column over here this is mainly for uh, uh, to keep track of the number of records so this is like a primary key in terms of SQL so it starts with one and it will for every record it will be incremented by one so let me run this script so the script is created and uh, the table and databases are created database is created I'll just refresh it so that you can see the database and the table and here you can see the list of columns say there are no records as of now now from the database part everything is done now let's map that fields onto the software so we have to enter the IP address of the server so I'll uh, put localhost as IP address because your IP address might change so this is static to your computer and I'll uh, enter the database name which is going to be IVMS 4200AC I'll remove the brackets I'll type my username and password for the database the table name would be ATTLOG and we have this employee ID we have auth date and time we have auth date and we have auth time We have direction, we have the device name, we have device serial number and in direction there are two options which need to be entered for in what should be I'll put as in for enter and go out I'll put as out and I'll make this bigger. I'll save so it's saved now I'll click on apply to database and I'll click on save now it's saved so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a punch on the device and you should be able to see it on the screen over here and at the same time you will see the record over here once I refresh so let me punch on the device thank you so I punched on the device a record is created I'll just uh, execute the script again and here you can see the record employee ID 5663 authentication date time is 200751 200751 and uh, the date is 8th of June 2019 8th of June 2019 and we have both the things separate date and time separate and we have the direction which is in and we have the device name and we have the serial number I'll make one more punch thank you I'll just click on execute you can see two records that's it hope this video was useful thanks for watching